If your Samsung Galaxy A10e is low or out of storage, this is the video for you. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us today. If you want to stay up to date on all the mobile technology coming out and learn cool tips, tricks, and hidden features, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap the bell to turn on post notifications so you can be alerted every time we post new videos. Today we're going over what to do if your Samsung Galaxy A10e is low on storage or out of storage. Now this video will also apply to anyone that has an A20, an A50, an A70. It's going to be a lot of the same stuff, so just a disclaimer right there. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Um, the first thing I want to show you is is um, there's a shortcut you can add to your home screen that's gonna really help you out if your memory is running low. So we're gonna start there and I'm gonna show you multiple things you can do to help free up your storage. I'm also gonna show you how to identify what files are taking up all your space. That's gonna help you out too. So the first thing you're gonna do is go to the settings. Now I have mine right here, but for most of you swiping down from the top and going to the upper right corner and tap on the little wheel here, that will take you to the settings area. And what we're gonna do is go to device care. Now device care is basically your um, manager that's gonna help you manage storage and different things that are going on with your phone. Normally I would go in here and just tap the optimize button and what this will do is it will clear out uh, any excess storage that I don't need. Um, like when you download web pages, you know, that saves things to your phone. Um, there's all kinds of little things. You can delete files, but sometimes they're still in your phone. So this helps you find and free up space. So this just helped me free up 166 megabytes. So not bad, but not enough. So, but it's a good first start. So I'm gonna hit done, go home, hold down the home screen. By the way, if you like this wallpaper, check out this video right here. That's gonna show you the app I use for this wallpaper and my other favorite wallpapers too. Uh, we're gonna come down to widgets and where it says device care, you're gonna just tap and then hold down and I can drag this right to my home screen. Now, this button is gonna act the same way as the device care setting does. The same button we just pressed in the app right here, the optimize button, it does the same thing if I just tap it on this little widget here. So if you ever find your phone low on storage, if you tap optimize, it usually will help to find you some storage and clear out some things for you. So that's the first thing you can do. Now one other thing here, if we hold down, go back to widgets, there's another device care one. Uh, if we hold down and drag this one, it's a little bit bigger, but it actually shows you how much storage you have left and also about your memory, how much memory is being used. So right now, I have 217 megabytes free of my 32 gigs. So this is telling me that I'm extremely low on storage, but either way, this widget here is just gonna help you keep track of how much storage you have. So now, let's move on to the next step here. So I'm gonna go back to the device care section. And as you can see, I'm extremely low on storage. And I have a little notification up here that's saying, hey, you can free up some storage by tapping here, but I'm gonna tell you to go down to storage here. This is gonna help us identify um, what is taking up all of our storage here. Is it music, is it videos, is it apps, what is it? Um, it's gonna be different things for different people. Now for the majority of people, it's probably gonna be either images, which are pictures, or it's gonna be videos. Now in this case, as you can see, videos is taking up 19 gigs of my storage. So that's the culprit. I've got too many videos on my phone that I either need to delete or I need to transfer to my computer. Now I'm gonna have a link right here to another video where I actually walk you through how to transfer videos to your computer. So if you have videos you've taken that you don't wanna erase, then check out that video. It's gonna help you out in terms of how to transfer videos and pictures to your computer. So, um, but in this case, uh, I wanna just go to video so I can just tap right there and it's gonna show me all my video files. And basically, these are all really large files. And if you look a little closer, you know, one gig, one gig, one gig. These are really large video files. You know, there must've been a day where I was just taking a lot of video and now my phone is full. 
So I have to make a decision. Either I'm going to delete these videos or I'm going to transfer them to the computer. Now, there is one other option I want to go over before we delete these. And, and the option basically is to purchase a memory card. With a memory card, you can expand your storage and then you have somewhere to move these video files to give you some more space. So the, the option isn't always just deleting precious files because um, just like you guys, I don't wanna delete any important videos if I don't have to. So, and some of you guys may say, hey, I don't have a computer, so that's not an option for me to transfer it. So for those of you that don't have a computer and you wanna save those important videos, you're gonna to need to pick up a memory card. Now in the description of the video, right below, you'll see uh, a link to some um, accessories for this phone. And in that link, you'll also find some memory card um, recommendations that will get you more storage. I also leave that same link in the comment section below. So you can click on that and you can see where you can buy a memory card to expand your storage. I'm gonna walk you through really fast how to put this memory card in. What I just used here is what's called a SIM tool. If you find the box that your phone came in, you can use that to just pop out this little SIM tray, which is on the left side of your phone. If you don't have the box, it's okay. Find a paper clip, open it up. You can use that and you can just pop this right out. We're gonna then take this memory card, slide it into the slot here and push. And now I have a memory card in my phone and we can then move some of those files over to the memory card and we can make some other uh, modifications as well. Let's swipe down here. Now when you plug in a memory card, normally you, you wanna swipe down from the top of your screen and you'll have a pop-up under settings that says SD card. Tap here to transfer media so they make it really easy for you. This is gonna take us to our file manager which is where we will transfer our files from the phone storage to the memory card storage which is gonna free up our space. So at the top here, tap on the little folder next to SD this is the main page for the file manager. And then we're gonna go to video files. Since we've identified that video files are the largest files that are taking up all of our space, we're gonna go right to video files and then go to camera. And this is where you'll find just about all the videos that are taking up all our storage. And on the right side here, you can see the storage amounts. Each file is about one gig and what we can do is just transfer a couple of these files to the memory card and that will free up some of our space. So what we're gonna do first is just hold down on one of the videos and you can either hit select all, just tap that button to pick all the files or we can individually take so many. If I just take uh, 10 files here or just these nine here, I'm gonna tap on the move button and then I'm gonna go back, uh, tap on the folder here, and then I'm gonna go to SD card, and then go down to the DCIM, which is where all your memory card um, pictures are stored. So if you take a picture, it's always saved in the DCIM folder, which stands for Digital Camera Image Memory. Tap on camera, and then I'm gonna hit move here. And now it's gonna transfer those files from the phone storage to the memory card, and that's gonna free up a lot of our space on the phone. All right, so we're just about done here. It did take about 10 minutes to move all the files. Again, it was about nine or 10 gigs worth of uh, files, so that does take a little time. So don't worry if it's taking a long time. It's gonna take a few minutes, it's okay. Um, just put your phone down and just let it do what it needs to do. And when it's all done, you'll be all set. Everything will be now moved to your memory card. And now if we go home and we go back to our settings and our device care, you'll see that my storage should look a lot different. So now if I go to storage, or actually right here at the bottom, it says I have 10 gigs free. So just moving those video files over to the memory card has saved us a ton of storage. And that's why having a memory card in your phone, it just makes so much sense. So um, I wanted to show you one last thing. Now, for those of you that say, I don't have a memory card right now, but I still need to get these files um, removed, 
um, because I just don't have enough space. I'm gonna show you how to delete some of those video files. So if we go back to the device care app and we do go to storage and under storage, you know, obviously we've identified all the areas where we have a lot of um, uh, things taking up our space. For example, for us, it's video. I'm gonna tap on video and I can just start tapping on these uh, files here. Now I can tap on one. So important thing to note, if you tap the bubble and hit delete, it's gonna erase it. If you wanna look at the file first to see if it's something you wanna delete, tap on this side of the, the video and then tap on video player and always. And you'll be able to watch the video first and it'll give you an idea if that's something that you want to delete. You might say, oh, that video doesn't matter, it's okay. So what I did was, just to show you again, I tapped it, video plays. When you're done, just simply hit your back arrow right here and it's gonna take you back to the screen that shows you all the videos. Now what we're gonna do is just select all these videos. Let's say none of these videos matter to you and you wanna erase them all. We're gonna select uh, these six, hit delete, delete again, and that's how you delete those files to free up space for you. Now we can go back and go back again and you'll see now we have 17 gigs of storage free. So we just freed up about uh, six or seven more gigs of space just from deleting those files. So that's what I encourage you guys to do if you're low on storage, tap on that storage icon and if it's uh, images, then tap on images and it's the same process. You'll have to go in and you have to delete some things. Same thing, you would tap like that horrible uh, picture there and hit delete. That will delete that. And then similar process, if you had a lot of videos that you wanted to uh, move to your memory card, same thing, we're gonna go home. Now, the first way I showed you was swiping down and going to uh, this option, but there's another way to do that. You're gonna swipe up and you're gonna go to the Samsung folder and look for your My Files, tap on that. And, um, Let's go back to the main page. This is the main page here. If your problem is pictures and not video, then instead of going to video, you'll need to go to images. And here you'll see all the folders that have all the pictures in it. And obviously look for the folder that has the most pictures in it. If I were to tap on screenshots, let's just say this folder had a lot of files in it and I wanted to erase them. I could hold down on one of the files, go to the top and tap all. And then I could either hit move to move it over to that memory card. So you'd hit move, then you'd have to go back. I'm basically showing you the process one more time just in case you didn't get it. So um, if you've already got it, feel free to move on, but I wanna make sure everybody really understands this. If it's, again, you're gonna then go to SD card, DCIM, and then you can go to your camera folder and you can just hit move here and then it will move all of those pictures. So hit move here and now it's gonna move them all to the SD card you can see right here. And that's gonna move you know, all to your external storage or the memory card. So that's a really easy way to free up storage. So I showed you a, a few different ways and I wanna just give you a quick recap. So we talked about adding the widget that's gonna quickly optimize your phone and help you free up a little space. We talked about going to the settings app and going to the device care app and being able to check your storage from here and seeing all the different um, things that are taking up your data and then sort of making our decisions accordingly. If it's too many videos we have, we have to go in and either move some videos to a memory card or we have to delete them by just tapping on this section and then selecting the video and then hitting delete. So that's really the process. Now, I will again leave a link in the description as well as in the comments uh, where you'll find uh, memory cards in case you just need a memory card to expand your storage. Click on that link and um, that link will have some uh, memory card options that will uh, help you to expand your storage. Um, and you'll find some other cool accessories in there as well. 
And uh, hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Leave us a comment down below. Let us know if this video helped you out. Uh, I know a lot of people, their memory just runs out and then they just feel really stuck. Like, what do I do? Well, these are a few options that are gonna help you to free up some of the space on your phone. Thanks again for watching, guys. Take care and have a good one.